Hello everyone, my name is Varuk Kanchada and today I'll ta be talking to you about point slope. Okay, what is this? Here's the basic equation. And I'll tell you what everything means in a second. Okay, before we solve this, we need to think about what do all of these variables mean, right? Okay, let's do one by one. Y1 and X1, they are just variables. They don't change. Nothing changes about them. Y1 stays as Y1, X1 stays as X1. So those are the simple ones. But let's think about these three, negative Y, Y, M, and X. Y. So you have a point that you... When you're doing point slope, you have a given point and you have the slope. And the point is going to give, be given coordinate form. So y would equal whatever's here. So if you have 4, 5, y would be equal to 5, x would be equal to 4. In some cases, they'll give you the slope. In some cases, you have to solve for the slope. In those cases, we'll go over and I'll show you to do that. But... For this purpose, let's just assume that they give the slope to us, which is um, m equals 2. So we have everything needed to solve the equation. So let's go ahead. y5 uh, equals 2. x minus 4. Pardon my writing. OK. Here, you want to solve for y. Because in most slope equations, you have y as the independent variable, the one that you solve for. So you have y minus 5 equals 2x minus 8. Steal this. Turn right now. My bad. Um, 2x minus 8. Here, you solve for y, so you add 5 on both sides. And you get, as your final answer, y equals 2x minus 3. That's how you do it if they gave you a point and the slope. Here's how to do it if they give you only two points. Okay, so they give you two points. Let's do this. Uh, 4, 6, and they also give you 5, 3. They don't give you the slope, right? But you have a point. What, what point you want to use, you can decide later. But first, you need to calculate the slope. So what you do is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so you can choose whatever point you want as their two and whatever points are one for in this case i'll do five three as my two and four six as my one so here would be three six three minus six over five minus four and when you compute that you get up negative three because negative three over one so you get negative three so that's your slope so for the point slope you need a point and a slope so now it doesn't matter which point you use, whether like whether which point you use, you'll get the same answer. So let's try a five and three, five comma three. So y minus five equals negative three x minus three. Oh, by the way, I want to mention this. In some cases, your school might just require you to say negative 3 x minus 3 and then plus 5 they might not actually want you to distribute it so if if they didn't want you to distribute it and you didn't have to all you would do is add 5 and you do negative 3 times x minus 3 plus 5 as your answer but if you want to distribute it and you want to check your answer let me do it for you right now so you get y minus 5 equals negative 3 x and then plus 15 
sorry if that five doesn't look good enough and here you just add five on both sides so you can get y by itself and you get y negative 3x plus 20 and that's all point slope is hope this video helped you and refer to all your friends if they need help with algebra and point slope and thank you